Hi, in this video we're going to show you a way to get past the issue of not being able to boot your virtual machine from an ISO file or your CD-ROM in VMware Workstation. All right, so let me show you what we're talking about here. So let me go to the settings for this Ubuntu computer here. So I have it set to boot to this ISO file. So normally you would right click, power, power on to firmware. And then if you go to boot, then go down to CD-ROM, press enter, nothing happens. So what you would have to do is press the plus key to put it at the top of the list. And then you could go ahead and exit and save your changes. And now it'll boot to the ISO file. But then what you have to do after that is go back in, boot to the firmware, go back, change it back to the hard drive for the first boot device. So what you could do for just a one time boot from ISO file option is to change something in the settings here. So let me just turn this off. I'll just kill the power here. All right, so if we go to the settings, go to options and advanced, and if we change this to UEFI and then click OK. So one thing I will note though, is this warning right here. So keep that in mind before doing something like this. But so far, I haven't had this affect the operating system when making this type of change, but I'm still going to give you that warning. All right, so now we're going to right click, power, power on to firmware. And now you can see the BIOS menu here looks different. And you have the option to go down to your CD ROM and just press enter. You don't have to change the boot order. And now we're in there. All right, so let's shut this down here again. All right, so now let's just start it normally just to make sure the operating system runs correctly after making that change. All right, looks like it's starting up fine. All right, so we're in. All right, so once again, just go to the settings, options, advanced, Change the firmware type from BIOS to UEFI, and then you'll have that different setup menu where you can do a one-time boot to your ISO file or CD-ROM without having to change the boot order. And this tends to happen more with Linux VMs uh, when you're using you know, Windows 11. For example, it'll be using UEFI to begin with, so you won't have that problem. It's just with older operating systems or Linux tends to use the BIOS rather than UEFI. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.